everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinnature, and I am playing some Mass Effect 2. We're going to talk to Thane. Why? Because I can. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Is it your illness? I'm feeling sick. I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. Okay. I had a family once. A son! A son. His name is Kolyad. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Had a family? Something happened to them? I abandoned them. Well, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slam. Sorry about that, guys. I just Skype is a Skype. Did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. <laughs> Away on business. Uh, last meeting. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. Ouch. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. Shh. <laughs> I had to do something real quick. It's. I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Okay. He jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads, tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Oh, honey. It's, uh, that's not what I expected. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I... Departed from her body, is that what we're calling it now? I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncle. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Why didn't you take him now? That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body will. He's like, what? He's become what? You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured. The individual is disconnected. Aha! Uh -huh. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. He knows you're an assassin. For reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help. That's to bad. He is. This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name. And assumed we share skills. Uh -huh. I don't know why he Which would accept they don't. The <sighs> to be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Hmm. Why I mean, do you... I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. <laughs> I don't need it. I want son, it because you're cool. I your body in sea line. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide His into the wife water. died. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. Oh, the funeral. He hasn't seen him since the funeral. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Sorry. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. If I wasn't romancing Garrus. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll stop I'll him. get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Okay. 
So yeah. Let's talk to Thane some more. Well, I... Uh. Shepard, is there time to visit the Citadel yet? Not yet. Right, we have, to finish, we have to finish his mission before he'll actually talk to us. Okay. Good to know. Let's go talk to Garrus. Because <laughs> I was just putting it off for the lulls. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. Yep. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant. Bob. Well, they were pretty regal. Sure. Hey, honey. Need me for something? I want to have a discussion you with you. Minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. Whoever else? <laughs> I actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers. I like to expect the worst. <laughs> How could you get worse? I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylish. <laughs> Not as stylish. Strange really? going into a suicide mission on a human ship. People don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. <laughs> I love that line! All they did was piss you off. technology <laughs> and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. No, we're not. not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. We are not going to lose a single man because I said so. Okay. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. <laughs> I don't think I'm a very Turian good Turian. Turian. <laughs> a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Good point. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. With violence? Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. Full-contact sparring? When Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before <laughs> one Fight mission, it out! We were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. And how did it go? I assume you took her down gently. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, Ooh. but she had flexibility. <laughs> it was Did she cool. now? After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. Really? Take off stress, I guess. And commence the romance. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. Not what I meant, Garrus. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? <laughs> we could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh god, this is so cheesy, I love it. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, hitting on him, not? hitting on him. There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you. <laughs> yes. If we can figure out a way to make it work, then. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Romancing the Garrus. Romancing the Garrus. Garrus has now been successfully romanced. More discussion? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? I've got some diagnostics to finish, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten, uh, what we talked about. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Talk to you later, Love guys. you, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. See you later, honey Bonzu has now been successfully romanced and my head is turning at the weirdest angle. Stop that. You knocked that off. Okay. Since we're in the neighborhood, let's take care of 
Thane's quest. Because we got one of the little Thane needs to do. Well, we, that we need to do for Thane. On the Citadel. Therefore, we are at the Citadel, so he might as well do it. You know what I mean? But that means taking Thane with us. Who is Thane going to replace? <laughs> Tolly. Thane's going to replace Tolly. Maybe. Hmm. Nope, nope, Thane's gonna replace Tolly. I'm, I'm staring- I actually have a picture of the entire team from Mass Effect 2 on my wall. And I'm look- Thane and Tolly st are sitting- well, standing, right next to each other. And I was like, hmm, not at those two. Well, we'll take- we'll take- Garrus and Thane. I love Tolly, she's my sister. But I think Tane's a Tane. I think Thane is a tech person. I think? Might be wrong, but Chunk, Chunk. There's a phone going off downstairs. Tired of writing the same old armor? Fit the story to purchase customized armor components. Okay. Loyal! Ooh. Spiffy. Look so spiffy. So spiffy. Much spiff. Let's keep him in this outfit for now, just cause. Cause I kinda wanna see it. Thane! You too, you're coming with me. Um. Barrier. Why not? Pull? Why not? <laughs> oh god, we haven't used him once. Okay. Let's see here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba <laughs> bonus extraordinary level, higher weapon damage, with better health. Let's give him more weapon damage. And, uh... Let's give him uh, this. Warp! Warp for days. Oh, balls. <laughs> Can't get warp for days. Yeah, good enough. So we've got three snipers on the team, According technically, to me, Garrus, and Thane. Was taken into custody, and charges are pending. That's the least I already heard you that. Service. Say that. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Okay, Bailey, we need to have a discussion. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Gosh darn it, Sergeant Heron! AK hidden loading screen. Okay. Bailey, we need to have a discussion. Yes. My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. And then something goes wrong. There we go. Oh, One never of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interest. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself in? Odd Probably a lot. If the game would stop cutting itself Duck off. Rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Oh god, the Shepherd hey. VI. <laughs> yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real error. That's pretty <laughs> extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. I love Bungie you too, honey buns. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> what was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the stick. When they're small, they the can play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. That's Aren't safe. The dangerous. Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them, lacerated uh... by fan blades, broken by a deadfall. Suffocated by vacuum exposure. Uh. Those are just the ones we know about. 
More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The or the pro or the keepers that he take can't them. Fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. I don't Sounds want like to. Boys running with the wrong crowd. Yes, Just a little bit, yes. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. Okay. You're trying to save yours. Aww. He faces a dark path. <laughs> and that's hurry, Thane's only answer. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. We'll just have to stop him. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Dum 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 da dum. There we go. I keep having to fix Shepard's head because it gets turned to the side. Like I'll start going in a circle. Wait for it. Wait for it. Eh 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 eh. And okay, you can't see it right now, but Shepard's head will just start listing to the side, and it looks so weird. Like her neck's gonna snap. I'll point it out next time I see it. Wait wait wait. Up oh, there it goes. Yep, for a second there. It's like, it's like Shepard's perpetually looking to the side, even though that makes no sense. Okay, where am I going to find him? Dark Star. There should be a mouse around here somewhere. Public comm terminal. Soranus applications. Shepherd, oh gosh, darn it, Nappa. <laughs> Those are the adverts. Cause I was dead. To get you to your next okay, this is the Dark Star. Oh no, it's not. It's just an advertisement for the Dark Star. Dur. You sales ship, sales ship, salesman, sales ship, sales gent. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way up here. I was going in the wrong direction. We wanted to go up, not down. Hey, usually it wants us to go down, so I went up. Or, usually it wants us to go down, so I went down. And I'm getting worse and worse at speaking English the longer the day goes on. Doom. Doom. Okay, should be around here somewhere. There he is. Hey, Mouse. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You, Mouse. What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you were dying. Oh, why? Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know you can change your pants Krios. in a moment. He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You use children for that? You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. Aha! Uh -huh. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Creo. So I hope we're not going to be mean. Advice, but I ain't going to die for you. Or protect you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Creos. Nobody's going to know you talk to us. Mouse. Except for the people I currently watching us. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. About the Shepherd VIs. One other thing. 
That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you oh, are It's yep. totally legal to make a VI of you. Ah! Uh, I want one. Give me a copy and we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole- Just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. Now he's big people? He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the uh -huh. big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Okay. Did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. It's Tell okay, don't worry about it. Know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town. Just don't bring the family. <laughs> just don't bring the family. Aww. Just, just, just give me a hug, but don't bring your son. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the Aww. petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. Yet he still took a hollow. He took my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He oh, okay. On my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Oh, honey. Don't honey. If I don't. Have a you, hug. No, no, have I a hug. Carry the weight of our I'm trying to give you a hug. Fine. Don't take my hug. Okay, we need to talk to Bailey. Bailey! He is, um, at the dock. He could have just gone down the stairs, I guess, but I'm lazy. I am nothing if not lazy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, it stopped going in a circle. Okay, Bailey. Wait. I teleported outside the gosh darn customs. Gosh darn it, Napa. You think Citadel Security would Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Sorry, then. Yes? Hey, Bailey. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Yeah. Oh, Callum. Callum. Oh, that. Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Callum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the C-Sec charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He bribes you. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. Cross it's arms. Just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Okay, uh, let's, uh... I need to make some preparations. Fine. I... Yeah, let's... I haven't saved in a couple episodes, so we're gonna do that, because this this loyalty mission can easily be screwed up. Very easily screwed up. Bailey. Yes? There we go. Let's do it. You ready to interrogate Kellum? Bring let's him in. It. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Okay. Ha! I don't think he's very happy. He's like, don't look at him, don't look at him, don't look at him. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He's like, yeah, it's not Bailey, it's all me. I'm a Spectre, blame me. That's what we're you trying to do me here. To get him out of this. Not today, I think. 
Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Will do. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Plan? Plan to improvise. No plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. He's got a point I there. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. It'll be fine, Thane. How hard can this be? How hard You've can it be? Before, have you? <laughs> Not really. Well, I've done this scene before, but... Give me these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? I'm a specter. Balls. Balls, I'm not running good enough. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. Do you want me to take in my ship? Assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You two are in way over your heads. Bailey. Pay attention, Mr. Callum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Dude, I'm a specter. You're an asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Yeah, thought so. Chicken shit. Think carefully, Elias. Fuck you. Oh, the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I said it was off the I record. Name I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. This is getting more and more difficult. Your turn, Thane. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being patient. Shut up! Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and send them to Kroger. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Alright, alright, fucking quit it. <laughs> Ain't worth this. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. Had your balls on Sunder Krogan. Businessman. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... You played me! <laughs> wine, wine! Info, Elias. I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow. Better than you will, asshole. When I get my comling back, Elias, I'm gonna... as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. <laughs> you five minutes ago. Held up in traffic. I advise you to shut the hell up. I got the information out of him. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Well, that's good. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Anti-human? so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's well, happened we are. since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. That's the democracy! The votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant! Get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yeah, we need to get there five minutes ago. Well, 20 minutes ago, but... This is gonna end up poorly. It's gonna end poorly. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I've been playing some Mass Effect 2. I'll see you all in the next episode.